Tide Flag shirts. You probably don't want to be wearing those out anywhere. I'm on a journey to hear every song ever recorded, and unfortunately, we got to talk about Justin Sane again. We're not even going to call him Justin Sane anymore. We're going to call him Justin Cathelgiever because that's his name, and it kind of sounds stupid. But this all started with a little podcast on the internet with a, a guest that told a story of abuse, and it was very much appeared to be Justin Sane from Anti-Flag. And now we have the confirmation from the woman herself. It is him. It's definitively who she was talking about. And as she said that, 12 other women have come forward with similar stories. And Rolling Stone, <laughs> kind of a little bit funny, Rolling Stone reached out to Justin with these new allegations and he has declined to comment. I'm sure he's going to comment like 12 days later or something, but let's just let's just read what what Rolling Stone has reported for us. Kudos to Cheyenne Roundtree who was the reporter who got all this information. So let's just jump into Cheyenne Roundtree's a pretty, pretty lengthy article here. Now the first several paragraphs of this new article uh, are very much all the information we had previously, but we're, so we're going to skip all of that and we're going to look at uh, the new information. Sardi, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say her name. Sarhadi's claim, however, is echoed by an additional 12 women who have spoken to Rolling Stone about their alleged encounters with Giver going back to the 1990s and as recently as 2020. These allegations include predatory behavior, assault, things that I can't say on YouTube, including relations with a very young person when Giver was a teenager. And this is where we see Giver did not reply to multiple requests for comments after Rolling Stone sent him a detailed list of allegations for this article. And then the article kind of focuses in on the facade of anti-flag being, you know, standing up for feminism and women's rights and taking care uh, of, of them. Then we've got some advertisements for Canva. I can't afford that me no have no money real good uh, here's another quote it says he was a wolf in sheep's clothing uh, who met this is a person who met Giver he's lost his name he is not just insane anymore he's just Giver he's just this creep right um, he <coughs> they met Giver as a 16 year old in 1997 he came across as super supportive. He was like, yeah, we need more girls in punk rock. Get out there. He played the part of lifting women up, but at the same time, he was literally holding them down. Sar Hadi couldn't believe the night she was having. There's another disturbing part where he, he told a woman and her family that he was 19, when in fact he was 30. A dozen people, a dozen people have come forward. So the likelihood of it all being bogus is not very likely. Um, doesn't sound like any of them are seeking monetary gain from this. And this isn't the kind of attention that you want to have, right? Um, so yeah, I guess like as far as the music side of it, which is not really important in this situation, uh, the band's over. The band's over, and I'm pretty sure that even the other, if the other guys are innocent, um, it's unfortunately going to be hard for them to get gigs 
anywhere. And Justin Giever is is uh, yeah, he's he's pretty much done for. So very sad, you know. You, you hope you you hear one story like this, you hope you don't hear a dozen more. And now we've got a dozen more. So if it's happened to 13 women that were strong enough and brave enough to come forward, it's happened to more. And it really sucks. You know, I see this thing in, in the article about um, uh, someone's father had 15 t-shirts of anti-flag and um, they talked. And it they all went in the trash, you know. Yeah, so anti-flag shirts, you probably don't want to be wearing those out anywhere. And this really sucks, and it's just uh, bad.